All right, we're at River Bluff, and it's our Uno's Pizza Coach's Corner with the girls cross country head coach, Sarah Bucklew. And Sarah, thanks for taking time out on a scorching afternoon out here. And I've got to ask you first thing, how do you guys and how, or how do you girls handle this heat out here running? It's amazing. Uh, well, we just keep in mind that every other team is out here, um, <laughs> all of our competitions out here. So um, and our cross country races are going to be this hot. Um, the, the main thing is to keep these girls hydrated um, and they really watch out for each other. If they notice that somebody's getting a little lightheaded, Sure. They, um, they immediately let us know. So they're really good about watching out for each other. I know that you guys were terrific last year. You were the region champs and uh, have an excellent team back this year. But one difference, gone to a bigger, better region, obviously, now that you're in 5A with a lot of teams that have tradi their traditional powerhouses, I would say. Yes. Talk a little bit about the transition to that region and, and kind of how you're adapting to that. Uh, well, we're a very young team um, this year. We only have three seniors. Um, and last year, we only lost one senior so we we're, we're coming back strong um, but we're, we're young and um, we're coming back off of that region win and we're excited about it but we know that there's we're, we're moving up and um, we know that there's a lot more competition so we're just we're keeping that in mind um, and this year though it's it's all about uh, looking two three years down the road and getting these girls where they need to be in about two or three years so if you look at the teams in the region objectively who kind of jumps out at least on paper and based on what they did last year who are the teams to beat in the region uh, Dutch Fork um, definitely uh, Lexington I think uh, mm -hmm. Dutch Fork and Lexington those are going to be the two that we're really going to have to go after mm -hmm. um, we've, we've had experience against Lexington before, um, Dutch Fork, um, we, we've seen them run before, so we kind of know um, where they are, and um, we, we definitely have some, some work to do to get there, but um, I think the girls all know um, where they need to be, um, so we'll see where the season takes us. If you would mention a few of the girls that have really been either outstanding on the track, big time leaders, or both heading into the regular season. Um, definitely keep an eye out for um, Alexandra um, Nigaman and um, Riley Stewart. Um, they are definitely um, our, our two, two fastest, um, but we have a really solid group of, from our three to seven runners. Um, we're still trying to figure out who exactly those three to seven runners are, um, but there's a nice little pack coming along, so and that's, that's really what's going to win it or, or not for us is, um, you know, we can depend on our fastest two, but that middle chunk is where we're going to have to really make sure the girls know um, how much we need them, and I think they're willing to do the work, so we'll and, as, and as young as you are, do you still feel pretty good? I mean, is your depth good, even though young? Yes, definitely. Um, girls tend to actually get a little bit slower as they um, get older. Um, it's kind of the opposite of what happens with the men's cross-country teams. Um, okay. So we're, we're happy to have a lot of our middle schoolers and, um, and our freshmen out here, um, but the thing we really have to train them with is not so much um, the physical aspect of running, but the mental aspect of running and how to run a successful race. So, This week's UNO's uh, Pizza River Bluff Girls uh, Player of the Week is Colleen Jackson. So yes. if you will say a few words about her. Uh, so Colleen Jackson has really been um, a big leader, especially with our summer workouts. Um, she's a motivator um, and she she's on the borderline right now, JB and varsity. Um, and I, I'm sure by the end of the season, she'll be up there um, with our varsity, our top seven runners. I know she, she wants to be up there and she's working really hard um, and she's encouraging other people. So our player of the week is just the person on our team who's probably the most uh, motivating for the rest of our girls. And the last question, this is an easy one. Yes. Uh, what are the chances that if I tried to do one lap out here and make it around the track? <laughs> you want to try me, my guest? <laughs> I don't think so. At least if I do, I want you to put that stopwatch off, put it away somewhere. No, and also all seriousness, it's great admiration for the girls and watching them work so hard. It's uh, it's great to see. Oh, to be young again. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Coach, thanks so much. We really appreciate Thank it. And we you. look forward to talking to you throughout the fall. Wonderful. Thank you so much.